One of Scotland's biggest football clubs is under fire after its fans waved Palestinian flags during a match against an Israeli side. Well, following the display, the Union of uh, European Football Associations, better known as UEFA perhaps, which opposes any political messages at sporting events, fined the club more than £8,000. But even that did not deter the Celtic fans. A supporters group called the Green Brigade launched the Match the Fine for Palestine appeal, and they did that and more. It's, it's something that none of us imagined, even after 24 hours of, of putting up that GoFundMe page, we're then sitting at roughly £20,000. The money raised exceeded all hopes, with the funds going to the Laji Cultural Centre in the Ada refugee camp and also to medical aid for Palestinians. To end up in this huge amount something incredible, so give yourself a big round of applause for coming up and putting out so much effort. I'm with Graham Watt, who is representing Medically for Palestinians here. We're here just before the game at Celtic Park. Um, so you've just been handed a cheque from Celtic supporters. Um, so are you surprised at the response? Um, I think Matt was surprised. It's probably the biggest popular uh, support that there's been. You know, apart from the big funding campaigns after the, 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 the wars in Gaza, uh, for there to be such a response after a football match, I think it's a, it's a hugely significant event. You know, it's for uh, people to say, well, we're not going to watch this football match in silence because we know what's going on in the background. I, I take it you saw the footage of all the Palestinian flags. Yes. Uh, what did you think that when you uh, saw I'm this? I saw that I'm really cry. A Palestinian flag, it's mean a freedom for me. And when I'm so like a thousand of Palestinian flag flying in uh, mm. Glasgow, that's mean one day we'll, mm. we'll liberate and one day we'll get uh, the freedom. Yeah. So, so there's, been, there's been accusations that the Celtic support and the Green Brigade are flying the flag of Palestine and they don't really know why they're flying it. I mean, there doesn't seem to be any evidence of that at all, not certainly today. No, I wouldn't say so. And actually, if you, if you remember the actual period when the funding was being raised, it wasn't just Celtic supporters. It was Celtic supporters flew yes. the flags. But, uh, you know, there were people tweeting saying, I'm a Rangers fan, That's I never right. thought I would support a Celtic thing. Uh -huh. this, is, this is more important uh -huh. than football. I mean, it rather goes against Bill Shankly, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, some things are more important than football. Uh -huh. And this campaign brought people uh, together, uh, not just in Glasgow or Scotland, but there were people uh, in, in Russia and Ireland from all over the world donating to it. So when we saw all our friends from the Green Brigade and all our friends who watched that game with the Israeli uh, game here, so when we saw a thousand of Palestinian flag, that means we are free and we have friends support us until when we end the occupation. I met nobody who hadn't seen the pictures of the Palestinian flags being shown. The message was very loud and very clear uh, from Celtic fans to Palestinians and the message was you'll never walk alone.